It is time for the final mission of the Edgar Ross stage. And you will know the truth. Oh yes. Doo 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 doo. Ah. What do you want, Marston? My family. I've done what you asked. No, you haven't. This is the land of opportunity, and I gave you the opportunity to save your family, and you failed. How could I possibly reward you? Marston, you're a public menace. We should have had you killed. I wish you had. But since you didn't, where's my family? Oh, spare me the noble savage for all the sword tribe. Will you, oh boy? It's nauseating. You don't wish to be dead. You're an insignificant creature desperately clinging on to life like the rest of the scum in this town. Yeah, I know it's tough. You like Dutch. He's a charming fellow. He makes sense. He's like one of those nature writers from back east. Only he takes things a tiny little step too far. Rather than just loving the flowers and the animals and the harmony between man and beast, <laughs> he shoots people in the head for money. And disagree with him. He's a goddamn killer. Now, I'm not a great intellect, but the metaphysical leap from admiring the flower to shooting a man in the head because he doesn't like the flower is a leap too far. Well, it's definitely that. So, I know. It's easy. <laughs> you see, we, me and Archer, we're the bad guys. Well, I guess that. We enforce the rules. Now, while the rules may not be perfect, they're really not so bad. Exactly. What's the alternative? I'll tell you what the alternative is. It's not complicated. It's about one man and his gun versus another man. Sure. Civilization may be dull, but the alternative, Mr. Marston, is hell. <laughs> the way you enforce this civilization, this freedom for men to like or not like flowers or whatever in God's name you were just talking about is to kidnap a man's wife and son? Well, I know there's contradictions. I'm not going to lie to you. As I said, I'm not a great intellect. Duh. Now, after the debacle with the army and the bank, we have to put Mr. Banderman to rest ourselves. Will you help us? Do I have any choice? Now that you mention it, no. Then what was that pretty speech you made of? I don't rightly know, but it sure felt good saying it. <sighs> Shall we, Mr. Marston? Let's go. Okay, let's do this. Time to get Dutch. Oh, my lord. Oh, a proper freaking machine gun. Hell freaking yes. Hello, army. Ah, oh, we can skip. Oh, well. Let's stop that and let's get to freaking shooting. Yes. <laughs> Hello, friends. The United States Army already. What's the word, Captain? We spotted one of Dutch's men about an hour ago. I think he took the bait. Let's Brilliant. Position, then. Have your men ready to run him down if you have to. Ha! Long weapons and get to the sandbag! Move! This is going to be fun. I guess so. Where are they? I'm ready. Fingers on the triggers, boys! 
<sighs> Come on. Come to Pup. Come to Johnny. Here they come! Aha! You don't want more! I just My god, these guys are everywhere. Come on, die! Die, all of you! Boom! Boom! Thanks for being in the distance so I can kill you. Boom! You guys are just trying too hard. We all have. These guys aren't even trying. Okay. Ah, dynamite. You try to run. There you are. There we go. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you in the next part where we continue this massacre.